Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video is sponsored by Wondershare, PDF Element. It is an all-in-one PDF solution program, helping users to read, edit, and convert PDFs. You can try pre-made tons of templates, to speed up your workflow, simply choose anyone, and start editing. Instead of making simple PDF, now showcase your creativity, by adding graphics, and your own style. With PDF Element, the user receives full control over his PDF files, and gets to adjust anything from fonts to styles, without affecting the original formatting of the document. So visit the link in the description, and try the PDF elements today. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Earth HUD. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, at 30 frames per second. The first step is to import this earth map image into the project, you can download it from the link in the description. Grab this image, and place it onto this comp, icon. It will create a new composition, with the same dimension as this earth map. Now go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the CC ball action. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change grid spacing to 10. And then change the ball size value to 7. Now make a duplicate of this layer, and then right click on it. Go to the layer styles, and select stroke. But this is not what we wanted. Let's remove this CC ball action from this layer. And yes, this can work. Now expand this blending options, and then advanced blending. Here change the fill value to 2%. Now open this stroke, and change the color to white. Also, change the stroke size value to 2. Cool. Minimize all layers, then switch back to the main composition and then get back to the project window. Here place this earth map comp into the timeline. Again go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the CC sphere. Apply it onto the layer, and it's time for some changes. First, increase the radius value to 450. Then open this shading option, and change the ambient value to 100. Cool, this looks good to me. Now let's animate it. Open this rotation option. And I am going to use rotation Y value to add some rotation. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then make sure to change the rotation Y value to zero. Now, add a keyframe on it. Then go to around 10 seconds forward, and change this first value to one. If your science is strong, you can apply some exact rotation to it just like the real earth. But I have no idea about it, so I am doing some random adjustment. Cool. Now our animation should look like this. Let's rename this layer, as earth map inside. Now make a duplicate of it, and call it, earth map outside. Select this outside layer, and here change the render value, to outside. Let's select this inside layer, and change its render value, to inside. Cool. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fast blur effect. Apply it onto the earth map inside layer, and then increase the blur value to 10. Here we have this nice looking, depth of field kind of look. 
cool. Let's add some more elements to it. Open this earth map comp. And create a new solid here. I'm calling it particles, make sure it has the white color. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the CC starburst. Apply it onto the layer. And change the size value to 20. Cool. Switch back to the timeline, and now our animation looks like this. Let's make another duplicate of it, and we will call it huge. I am also changing the render value to full for it. Let's increase the radius value to a higher number. And make another duplicate of it. I am increasing the radius of it, as well. This looks ugly to me. Let's go to the effect and the presets, and search for the simple choker. And apply it onto the layer. Change the choker value, until you have the same look as you are watching here. Now select this effect, and copy it. Select this bottom layer, and paste it here. You can also adjust the opacity value to make these lighter. Do the same with this layer as well. Cool. This looks good to me. Now create a new adjustment layer. And call it Glow. Make another duplicate of it, and call it CC. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the hue and saturation. Apply it onto the layer. And click on this colorize box. It will allow us to add some colors to it. Just tweak some settings, and you are good to go. You are free to use any color you want. I am using this fire orange color. But you can use some neon color as well. Let's place this CC layer, below this glow layer, and then select this glow layer. Now go to the effects and the presets once again. And search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. I am changing glow threshold to 65%, and glow radius to 30%. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Now you can download pre-made After Effects templates, sound effects, stock footage, and many more digital assets. Visit the Envato Elements, check the link in the description.